this video is going to show you how to use the inverse square law kind of backwards, working backwards with it. So the inverse square law said that the distance of separation is proportional by the inverse square to the intensity. So in other words, I got to find some factor of change of how the distance um, was affected. And then the inverse square law gives me a set of instructions. So I take the inverse of that factor of change and then square it. So for example, if the distance was double, the inverse square would be a half and then square would be one fourth. So the intensity would be one fourth. Okay, this was covered in the other video that's online. But now suppose instead of having this factor of change of distance, the factor of change was the intensity. So it was the brightness, the sound volume, or in this case, the force. So let's look at an example. A spaceship is at a point in space where it feels a force F due to gravity. It then moves to a point where the force it feels is one fourth as much. How many times farther away did it move? So one of the key factors in determining when to use this is how the question is phrased. When it says something like how many times farther, I'm looking for some kind of factor of change. And so this is a good way to do to use this formula. So there's my spaceship out there by the star, and it's um, got a force F on it. It's some distance away R. I don't know what that distance is. I'm just going to call it R. And then it's going to move some new spot where it's going to feel one-fourth the distance. So at this new spot, I want to figure out how far away this is. But I want it figured out compared to the original. So some number times the original distance is what I'm after. To do this, instead of using the inverse square, I'm going to use the inverse square root. So whenever the factor of change you're looking for is in the intensity, in this case the force, instead of using the inverse square, use inverse square root. So I'm one-fourth the force, so my factor of change is one-fourth. Inverse square root of my set of instructions, so I'll take the inverse of one-fourth, which is four, square root it, and that's going to give me two. So that's telling me now that with a factor of change of one-fourth the force, it is two times as far away as it was before.